What's up, guys? This is Eric here at Battleground Studios. I'm your host, and today, uh, with this interview that we have going on here, we have an awesome guest. He's actually uh, what you would call a new believer here at our church, and I'm excited to get into this interview. She seems like an interesting lady. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about her, but I know a little bit, and just coming from that, you know, we just want to talk to her, get her story, like see how God's really worked in our life, and uh, yeah, just go from there. But with the, with that being said, this is Katie. Katie, say hello to everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and uh, this is Katie's first time on the podcast, which is awesome. All right. So, Katie, I'm just going to ask you, uh, I mean, starting off, just who are you? Tell us Tell us who Katie is. Like, well, who are you? Um, I'm Katie Lassiter. Um, I'm yeah. 24 years old. Uh, I've lived here for about, I just moved back here. Um, we lived here for about. 15, 16 years now. So where are you from originally? I'm from Georgia, Lawrenceville. Oh. Yeah. I've only been to G Georgia a handful of times, but the handful of times I've been there, I I've liked it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So so how long have you lived here in Bristol? Um, I just moved back in May. In May? Yeah. Right. So yeah. do you like it here better? Is it calm? Yeah, it it's better similar? here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. So growing up, what was that like? Just tell us about yourself. Uh, growing up, it was pretty good. Um, yeah. My mom and dad... Um, it's pretty great growing up. I got in some trouble. Did you? Turn, yeah. 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 So, what, like bad trouble? Yeah. Yeah, I got put in DCS custody because they couldn't listen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just a loose cannon, huh? Loose yeah, cannon. Yeah. yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah. So, me personally, I, I've come from a, uh, you know, I'm not going to say your home was a broken home, but I've come from a, uh, a somewhat of a rough background, some, some, some tough things. So, do you think... Uh, you doing that was there a specific reason you think you were doing that because i know when i was little when when i would act out when i would do yeah. things my mom and dad they got a divorce so whenever i would do something i would always just lash out and but at the time i didn't understand that i was just hurt in a sense yeah but uh as time went on i looked back on it, i'm like man i was just in a, i was just acting out because i wanted that attention in a way i found know? out i was adopted uh -huh. when i was 11. okay so that was a big shock in my life right. so i didn't know how to understand it uh, how to like so cope you, with it you were just flooded with emotions then, yeah right? yeah right, you think didn't so? think i was wanted didn't think right. they loved me they weren't my family yeah. in a sense so 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 with that being said so is that why basically why you lashed out because you just felt like all that just made you angry and yeah, stuff yeah. it did, it did. Mm -hmm. and so it just put you down a, a tough path yeah now. yeah okay myself, yeah. okay so you have any siblings I have an older brother. Do you? Mm -hmm. Are you? Do you guys pretty tight or? Uh, we actually still haven't talked. Uh, haven't talked. Yeah, we're gonna talk. Uh, actually, on the fifteenth or sixteenth of this month. So. Did, and it's just issues you guys have had over the years. Well, I don't want to butt in anything that you don't feel comfortable. Oh talking no, about. Um, it's just uh, he actually has my two girls. They adopted him. Him okay. and his wife. So well, that's, that's that's nice of them. Coming back home and stuff, I've got to prove myself. Yeah, you know? hey, hey, there's, look, my, yep. we went through a similar situation, right? So my sister, she had gotten a lot of trouble, mm -hmm. and uh, we actually got my nephew, yeah. okay? And, and, you know, we battled with her, and we had all these things, but at the end of the day, you know, the Lord worked it out. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I honestly, I believe, just from, you know, the little bit I know, I believe he's going to do the same thing for you guys. Oh, yeah, he and, will. And it's super cool that your brother is actually the one who, you know, took your kids in mm -hmm. as opposed to just somebody else. Because random, I, yeah. I, I think if it was somebody random, it would have been a lot more difficult to deal with. Yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? So, but that's good. So you guys think you guys are going to come to a point where you guys oh, are yeah, talking more? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, so uh, how did you get into church? Have you, uh, did you grow up in church? Yeah, I grew up in church. Did yeah, you? my papa is an old-fashioned Pentecostal preacher. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so he's bringing the fire. He's yeah, bringing the yeah, fire, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> my mom's always kept us in church no matter what. So. Yeah. And so is your mom, would you say your mom's a big reason why you're here today? Yeah, yeah. You think so? She is, yeah. Well, good, good. I, I know your mother. Uh, I know her quite. I know she's a prayer, right? She's a yeah. praying woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> which yeah. is awesome. And <laughs> so, and she told me before, actually, just talking with her, that, that she's been praying for you. Like, yeah. she's been praying for you through all the things that you so is there like I said I don't want you to feel uncomfortable with anything so is there anything that you'd want to talk about that you just battled through that you'd be willing to share with anybody um I was going through drug addiction mm -hmm. for like the last 10 years yeah um I actually came uh to this church before I came back I actually came like a year and a half ago mm -hmm. I just showed up one Sunday yeah and Lisa um Destiny's mom mm -hmm. uh she would reach out to me and stuff yeah. and you know what I mean so like for a whole entire like year and a half they were praying for me to come back and that's I finally awesome. came back <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah. that is awesome and and I know it's always good to hear that people really 
when they say they're praying for you, some people just kind of say, and you're like, that person's not praying for me. But to know that they're really praying for you, like oh, yeah. it, it, it touches you in a different way. Like it makes you oh, yeah. feel like I'm really wanted. Like they really care about me. And it's super cool that that your mom, you know, and I, I love this a lot that I always said, you know, no matter what my kids do, I'm going to love them to the end. And it shows, right? Even yeah. though you was rebellious and you had these this battle with addiction, all these things, you know, your mother was still, even though I'm sure you hurt her many times, right? Oh, yeah, and I, tough love. She gave yeah. me a lot of tough love. And, yeah, and on her behalf, too. And I'm yeah. sure she said things that hurt your feelings oh, and upset yeah. you as well, mm -hmm. right? And and it just, but with you, you know, you kind of went, you approached it different as she would, and I'm mm -hmm. sure that would make you guys bump heads, right? Oh, yeah. Because that's what would happen with my mother and my sister. Because cause I've never, so I've never really battled addiction, but I've seen uh, what it does to the people around them, oh, yeah. right? And, and so I have, a, I have a deep compassion for that because because I understand, you know, it is a battle. Yeah. And and it's something that you guys, well, not anymore, right? Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. What you used yeah. to battle, mm -hmm. you're, you're not that person anymore. You're a child of the Most High God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's freed you from that. Thank, thank the Lord. Yeah, I've been and, 78 days clean, so. Good, good. So, yeah. so being 70, 78 days clean. Mm -hmm. So, man, I bet your mother's super proud of that. For yeah, sure. yeah. So, so tell us, with that being said, tell us what Jesus is doing in your life. Because I don't think that, you know, obviously you didn't do that on your own. And it's your mother oh, no. your mother praying for you. People, you know, really are supporting you. But at the end of the day, like, God is who pulls you out of those struggles. Oh, yeah. And every day that I wake up, it's like a new day to me. Yeah. Like, everything is like an awe. It's like, I can't believe I'm here, you know what I mean? And um, the only way that I've done it is through God. Uh, he's actually really helped me, like... <laughs> with my attitude and with my outlook on life, like just my love for others. Cause I, I used to like, used to hate the world. Yeah, used to yeah. hate everybody in it. Just angry and didn't just really know angry, why. Just didn't yeah. like, cause I didn't understand why yeah. people were they, like why they mm -hmm. were the, like why they were the way they were. Yeah. And uh, so God's really helped me with that. And I'm just going to keep on Absolutely. Drawing closer to them. <laughs> that, no, that, look, that is awesome. Yeah. And, I, and I think, honestly, you know, when, when, when we're not believers and we see, it's hard for us, I mean, even as believers, sometimes it's hard for us to wrap our brain around why do bad things happen to good people? Yeah. Or yeah. Why, do, why do bad people, why do they get the good things in life? Yeah, so I, exactly. You know, and things like that would make you angry, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. But it, it, it's awesome to see, and, and just from what I've seen of you, it's awesome to see how God's working in you. Yeah. You know, I see like when you worship, like you give it your all. Oh, yeah. Is there another reason not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you do you think, you know, with you worshiping, when you give it your all like that, is it is it you expressing like just your love and how you just thank God every day yeah. for what he's yeah. done for you? And I can tell. That's why yeah. I asked, because yeah. I can tell that because some people they just kinda go through the motion. They're like, know, Oh, praise you, Jesus. But you I mean, you're you're just yet yeah, like you're absolutely praising with everything you've got. Oh yeah, because what I've been through is like so horrific, and yeah. like the the things that I've seen that are like demonic, mm -hmm. and things of that other nature that if you didn't have God on your side, it just takes a hold of you. Yeah, and I don't want to ever go back to that. Right, right, and so <laughs> with that being said, do you think? How important is it? Because some people keep it bottled in. How important is it that you share these types of things, like what God's done in your life, the things that he's pulled you out of? Because you, would you say that he's literally pulled you out of hell? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so would you care to tell a little bit about that? Um, that? But if, if not, don't feel pressure. Oh, no, no. Um, I actually came from, I was living in Rome Mountain for about five years. Um, I was around a lot of Satanists. Okay. And like witches, people that do witchcraft and oh, yeah. stuff. And um, I've always known God, and you know, so like anytime I felt uncomfortable or somewhere, mm -hmm. I'd leave. But I didn't see until I got out of jail in, right. in May. I got out of jail May the 12th, and I went back up to Rome Mountain for a week. And within that week, I was like talking about God to everybody. Yeah. I was kicked out of people's homes. I was told <laughs> you didn't to fit never, in at all. <laughs> you know, I, was, I was told to never come back. Yeah. I was told not to speak to their girlfriends no more. Wow. I was told I was never welcome. I was actually told I was going to be killed. Wow. And the night that I came home, I got into an argument with the person I was living with, mm -hmm. and I just felt this strong sense just to leave everything. Yeah. Just to pray. That's the Lord pulling you. Yeah, and I just and I grabbed my phone and my laptop and I said, God, just please let me get out of this driveway. Just please let uh -huh. me get out of this driveway. Man. And luckily I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> so man. Praise the did, Lord. Yeah. And and you know what's interesting about people, you know, as Christians today, uh, they kinda 
not kind of, they do neglect the fact that there's spiritual warfare. Yeah. And when it comes to like witches and Satanists, they know it's real. Yeah. As we should know, right? Mm -hmm. We we know it's real. We say that it's there, but a lot of times people don't people don't necessarily uh, understand it. Uh, yeah, or actually believe it, yeah. right? But even even in the Bible, it says, you know, even the demons believe who Jesus was, and yeah. they shuddered, right? Mm -hmm. They were scared. Yeah. And so, but it's so cool, like. It's terrible that you went through that, but it's so cool how, you know, you felt it. Like, you felt God pulling you. Yeah. And that's one thing, <laughs> this sounds crazy, but that's one thing about jail. I've never been to jail, but one thing I realized from my sister who was in jail, mm -hmm. that she became very self-aware. Oh, yeah. Like she was you very self-aware. understand self -aware. everything. Yes. And, and you see things at a different view than everybody yeah. else, but it's because you're so self-aware mm -hmm. of the things going on. And the on. clarity that comes. Yes. Like, and when you speak to people, or like people that you were like, interacting with on the streets and you come into jail with them yep. you get clarity of situations that you were in yeah because they're like talking about it too so it's like everything made sense i wasn't crazy <laughs> yeah. right, you right. know what i mean because i've always felt like i was crazy yeah like because they would make me believe that i was crazy so i couldn't tell nobody about it so they wouldn't and it was like getting out of it i'm like never ever again <laughs> <You know what laughs> yeah like? yeah because people are like the devil has such a strong hold he on does. certain people, just like God has a strong hold on you. The devil has even more <coughs> hold on you. Well, and it will take you to places that you've never been. Yeah. You will do things to people that you never thought you would do. Right. Even small children. Oh, for and sure. And that's what things I was going through up there, like finding out about and learning about. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I tried to go to I uh, tried to go to a DCS worker about it, and she actually turned me away and said I could report it online. <laughs> And I like met, it wasn't that serious. Yeah, basically, and I met how they three Carter County sheriffs as I walked out of that office. Wow, and, that, and trying to take me to jail for it. Yeah, so and I see how that would make you seem crazy. Yeah, and, and going back to what you said about you know the devil having a hold on you and God. I will say this, like, once you fully give your life to the Lord. Oh, like, yeah, the devil the, can't do nothing. Nothing. Like, yeah. the victory is won through Jesus, mm -hmm. right? So we, and, and I'm glad you said that because we think. You know, because what the world's told you, what, those, what yeah. the Satanists and the witches were telling you, basically. Yeah. like, And basically what the world tells us mm -hmm. is that the devil has all this hold on us, yeah. right? And he he does, does have influence yeah. in situations, but when we give our life to Jesus, when we fully commit to following Jesus, yeah. the devil doesn't And see, I'm not chance. scared anymore. I used exactly. to be scared. Yeah. I used to be scared everywhere I went. Anybody that I met, mm -hmm. I always, like, ulterior motive, didn't know how to think about them. Like, yeah. even, like, coming, like, home for the first couple of weeks, I was like everybody's volunteered motive. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then when I got baptized and stuff and then started reading the word and stuff, I'm not scared anymore. It, it almost Like, nothing phases me. Like, it, I'm happy every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like So it almost feel like everybody was plotting against you. Yeah, uh, or yeah. Almost like this big master plan where yeah, everybody's coming yeah, at yeah. you. Yeah. And, and that's, man, and that's how the enemy was trying to yeah. play on your mind. Mm -hmm. He was trying to play off the things that yeah. you had went through. Yeah. And, I, and I, like, I've said this numerous times. I've already said it on here before. But I think it's important that we remember what we've been through. Yeah. Because when we remember those things and we see how much God was really working through yeah. us. Because God, through that whole experience of you doing that, God was protecting you. Oh, yeah, because I should be dead. Yeah. Like, there's no way about it. Like, like just you talking about that little piece of you being in the driveway begging God, like, please get me out of yeah. here. Just get me out of here. Mm -hmm. Like, he was right there. Yeah, and he was. Guiding you out of there mm -hmm. and that's that's amazing so what do you think uh, how do you how has your friends and your family reacted to your change because I'm sure some are still adjusting I know uh, like I said with my sister like I said because she she battled a similar thing that you know some people would be like I think she's like me I, I'd always be like pro change like she's yeah, changing like yeah. I, I can tell she's changed but then other people be like no nah, she's just gonna go back to what yeah, she's exactly. doing exactly and, and what my papa said to me this is the greatest thing he said to me he's like Okay, all this time, this last 10 years, we've been praying for Katie to come home. Yeah. Are we going to accept it that yeah. God answered our prayers? <laughs> Are we going to watch every move she makes yeah. and make sure that God answered our prayers? Pester. Are we going to, yeah. yeah. Are yeah. we going to, like, praise God that he answered our prayers? Amen. Yeah. So it's like, some people, like, everybody in my family, except for my brother and his wife, they're having a hard time adjusting to yeah. it. Yeah, which, which would be understandable. But that's understandable but it's because right. I'll have to be around kids. I have to be around them. Right. So right. it's like, they want to see that change and be sure of it before because they know that my kids know that I'm their mother. Yeah. Yeah. But they call Steve and Stephanie mom and dad. Yeah. So they have to know that is she going to be here or is she not going to be here? Absolutely. You know absolutely. what I mean? So it's, and, 
And and you said that you guys are kind of talking in yeah, a little yeah. bit, right? And see, that's I'm sure that's an answer prayer right there for oh, your yeah, mother. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's just those baby steps. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of times we feel like we got to jump right in. And sometimes the Lord calls us to do that. Oh, yeah. But in situations like this, you know, we have to adjust. And as believers, mm-hmm. right, as your fam- the ones that are believers yeah. in your family, they have to do just like your grandfather said. Yeah. They have to be like, you know what? The Lord answered our prayer. Yeah. She is here. Now, we need to shepherd her and do what we need to yeah. do, yeah. right? Yeah. Instead of just pushing you off. Because I always realize, you know, and my mother didn't mean it intentionally. She didn't yeah. mean anything bad. But uh, when she would kind of say certain things and it would set my sister off, mm-hmm. you know, it would kind of send her down a deep end. Yeah. And yeah. she would feel a certain way. Oh, yeah. And so so I see, you know, how see, that, I've had how some problems that. with that. But yeah. I'm like, it's not because it's not the way that my mom means it. She means right. it in a Absolutely. loving way. Right. So I'm like, all right, God, if this is how it is, you know, what I mean, I just try not to let anything bother me because it's not you have to look at it through a different perspective of everything yeah but you can't take everything so personal yeah you know a- absolutely and, and because not only are they changing but mm-hmm. this is all new to you too oh yeah like this is all like living living a, a, a not so chaotic life like yeah, that yeah. you know being in that lifestyle it's a lot different for you oh so yeah everything's things you gotta it's peaceful it's yeah. like <laughs> the, I, the boredom i love it you know what i mean because yeah. it's like yeah there's nothing that i have to worry about every day i wake up and there's nothing really to worry about right, like right. that i used to have to worry about yeah, you know? I'm sure that was a very paranoid lifestyle. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always looking over your shoulder, always worried about. Oh yeah, always sleeping what, in my that. car. Yeah. Always like, because I can lock the doors in my car. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And, so and sense like, of security. Yeah. Yeah. So what about what about you? Uh, your friends? Did you have like many friends that just kind of were like, yeah, she's crazy. Or do you have some friends who are like, I want to see, like, what's changed her. I want to see, like, what I've, has I've really shifted her thinking. I've got a couple, like, maybe a handful of friends that are like, I'm proud of you. I'm so yeah. glad you're home. Like, stay there. Yeah. Like, get out of this town. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. they're happy about it. And then some, fr- like, people are just like, whatever, Katie. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. A lot of people are proud of me for leaving and, Absolutely. like, doing better and stuff. Like, well, that's, that's good. They want better for me. Because it's always good to have your family. But, I'm, I mean, your friends... I mean, it, the, your friends, they're, I think, one of the biggest influences around you. Because it takes one friend to send you down a rabbit hole. Down, oh, yeah, down my friends path. are here at the church. So yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like, right now, it's like, I don't really mess with nobody else. Because I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't need nobody else right now. Because I don't, I don't know nobody else. And, and it's good being around, having your church family. Yeah, because yeah. You're, you're around like-minded people. Because mm-hmm. I know it's like, sometimes if I, let's say I'm having a trouble with my marriage, I'm not going to feel t- comfortable talking about someone who's not married. Because sometimes if I, let's say I'm having a trouble with my marriage, I'm not going to feel t- comfortable talking about someone who. Uh, who's necessarily not a believer, so it's easy for them to just up and leave their life. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I'd rather talk to someone who is a believer, like, mm-hmm. you know, our pastor or, like, another leader, yeah. someone who's going to give me good biblical advice. Yeah. You know, sometimes your friends, they don't mean, like, any ill intention, but just the things they are saying is still worldly. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, and that's easy for us to take off into that because that's what we know. Yeah. So we're going to, just like Peter did, yeah. we're going to go back to what we know. He went back to fishing, right? Yeah. So we're going to go back to what we know a lot of times. Yeah. So it's easy to do that. So it's good that you have, you know, those few friends and the people here at the church yeah. to really like help support you. Yeah, and I've got my 12, I started a 12 step here. So so what, is that with CR? Yeah. yeah. CR, so how does that go? Do you think it's, it's going really great? Yeah. Would you recommend it to people, not just, you know, with addiction, but like, you know, with uh, any dep- problem. Any kind of issue. Yes, Anger, with any problem. You know, yeah. uh, depression, stress, all that. You yeah, think? yeah. Okay. It's I, really great. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Oh, yeah, it helps. Even if you don't think you have a problem, maybe you should just go sit yeah. and see. You, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> And I think, and one reason I think it's good, I, I've been to a few services just like peeping in and, you know, leaving, which I, I think I, I will eventually go through it. Yeah. I will yeah. eventually go through it. But uh, one thing that I realized, just like when we were talking about jail kind of earlier, it, it makes you self-aware. Mm-hmm. It makes you, it asks you questions. Like last night when I, when I stopped in, it made me ask questions like, okay, like I see why I would ask myself that. I see why... Yeah. You know, people become self-aware because if you're not asking yourself questions, it's almost like you're assuming for yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so mm-hmm. and if you assume things, you know, it, it's not that great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> but do you think you know that's helped you a lot with you know your your growth and you uh, just you know yeah you change yeah and God opened my eyes a lot to things that were clouded. Yeah. You know, and He does that. You know, so without Him, I wouldn't be able to differentiate a lot of things that I never could before. Awesome. Awesome. So. Yeah. Well, this past week, and we'll, we'll kind of close down a little bit, but this past week, you got to hang out with a group of uh, 
Canadians, right? Yeah. And some yeah. Northeastern Americans. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a youth group come in uh, and they were helping out in the community, helping out at our church. And Katie actually got to hang out with a lot of them. Yeah, they're real cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, was that your first experience being around groups like that? Yeah, like yeah. actually serving for the Lord? Almost yeah. like a mission trip, basically, oh, yeah, that like was just going cool. to serve. Yeah. So were there a lot of outgoing, like, Strange kids, I'm sure. <laughs> a lot of teenagers strange, can be strange. But teenagers like can be strange. They're very outgoing, like yeah. willing to do like Whatever. anything. Yeah, they're good. just like, and if they didn't have something to do, they're like, can we do this? Can we do that? That's like, good. Or they would just go ahead and do it. So. so, so do you think you learned something from them? Yeah, I can learn. Yeah. You think so? Because mm -hmm. this is what I always think in my mind. No matter who I'm talking to, yeah. whether it's a janitor or the CEO, as some people would say, like that. Like no matter who I'm talking to. I try to learn something from yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I try to learn something, whether it's like the way their attitude, the way they carry themselves, the way they do, like write something down, mm -hmm. like whatever the case yeah, is. Yeah. So do you think that, you know, being around those kids, you, you could really learn something from yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, you could, for sure. I, I agree with that because kids, they're, they're the best teachers. Yeah, yeah. They're very blunt. They'll yeah. let you know if you're a terrible person or not. <laughs> they have no problem doing that. Yeah. But, uh, Katie, I just want to say that it, it's awesome having you on here and, just, just one last question. Do you, did you ever think in a million years? And I know, like I said, I know you've been through some, you know, some things. But did you ever think in a million years that that God would have you, you know, live in this amazing life that you are right now? Like, you know, just just a few years ago, you were not the person that you are right now. No, I always thought I was going to be the way I was. And nothing was going to change. Nothing that. was going to change. Man, well, well, thank. The most high from yeah, sending his son Lord. to die yeah. for us. You know, <laughs> know what I mean? Because yeah. let's be honest, none of us are deserving. Yeah. You know, none of us deserve the things that we have. But through Jesus Christ, thank the Lord yeah. that, that he has set us free. Because who the son sets free, is free indeed. Yeah. And, I, and I honestly believe that he sets you free. Yeah, he did. And, and I hope, you know, and I hope and I pray for you that, that through this change, because I can tell you're an evangelist. Yeah. But it may change. Yeah. It may be different. But I can tell you're the type of person that's yeah. going to go out and you're actually going to boldly talk about God to people. Oh, yeah. For sure. I, I can just tell that you're type, that type of person. So I just encourage you that no matter what, no matter what your, you know, your, your negative friends or even, even your good friends, no matter what, just keep seeking the Lord. Yeah. You know, if I could give you any advice, just keep seeking the Lord and what he wants you to do, Katie. And I think, I, I believe that he's really going to use you. Not yeah. may, Maybe here at the church in a big way, I believe he already is starting yeah. to. Yeah. But even beyond that. Yeah. Because, you know, our God is a, he's a big God. He's not going to just keep you in one place. Yeah, exactly. And I believe that he's going to use you to touch other people and bless them in, in many ways, Katie. Yeah. So just keep doing what you're doing. Keep seeking the Lord and, and we're praying for you. Thank you. And, <laughs> and we're, we're glad you're here. We're, we're glad to hear. Glad a, to be here. We're glad to hear a little <laughs> bit of your story. It, it was good. And, and man, our God is good. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, we're going to wrap up, guys. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this awesome interview with Katie. It was fun. We enjoyed it. Uh, we got to learn about what the Lord is doing in her life and how he's continuing to do things in her life. So we just... I ask you guys on here, just continue to pray for this woman and continue to pray for what God's going to do for her and just pray for somebody else today. Like, be, be humble and pray for somebody else and ask God to use them to bless somebody today. All right? You guys get out there. Have a blessed day. Thank you all for joining us.